what not to wear on airplanes. You can also apply this to bus tours if you are taking them. So the number one thing is all about comfort. You could be on that airplane for a very long time, sitting in that seat, not being able to move around. And so comfort is the key. And we have so many wonderful fabrics these days that are soft, that are stretchable, and not restricting your body. And so that is the most important thing, is to make sure it's all about comfort. You can still look really nice, but everybody is casual these days. And so you can decide if you are going to just take one specific outfit for the airplane, but I tend to take an outfit that I can mix and match when I am also traveling. So the number one thing not to wear is anything white for obvious reasons. You could get stains, spill coffee, and then what are you going to do? So white is out of the question. Ladies, not to wear ponchos or scarves or things that are going to restrict your movement. And also, these things can get caught on the seats. Layering. What you can do is, depending on where you're going, is you can wear a short sleeve or a long street sleeve shirt. Make sure it's not too skin tight, that it gives you some movement or a little bit of airiness to it. And uh, also you can uh, place over a hoodie, which could be light, that you can use on your trips but nothing too heavy unless you're going to a cold area. Plus, it takes up a lot of bulk in your suitcase. You can also really get these nice, they're called puffer coats, and they can roll up and fold up into a little tiny bag if you're going somewhere cold or coming home to somewhere cold. Flowy skirts. Yes, they're pretty and everything like that, but they can also get trapped under somebody's other seat <laughs> while they're sitting there, and long skirts. And also, this is also a tip with your pants, long flowy pants or long flowy skirts. Make sure that if you do, that they do not go to the floor because everything is on the floor and you will end up with a lot of dirt on them. Shoes. No heels at all. Make sure that you are wearing very comfortable shoes. You cannot take your shoes off the airplane anymore. A lot of people think they can, but they can't. If you want to, opt to getting a pair of airplane slippers as it's all about comfort when you are traveling. And try to avoid shoes that have a lot of laces. Uh, if you are going to be able to wear runners, make sure that just before you go into the checkpoint, these are going to be security checkpoint ideas, is that you can loosen the laces. I wear my ballet flats, or sometimes I will wear my running shoes that are stretchable that I can pull off and also jewelry don't cover your arms and your ears and everything with jewelry because you have to take it off you can always put your jewelry on before you leave the airplane or the bus I've mentioned bags so bags are very important make sure that when you are carrying a bag or a tote that it zips up you don't want things to slide out over the top if you have to place it above you. And a purse that is too big to go under the seat. We like to keep our purses under the seat for various reasons. And so make sure that it is going to be able to 
go under the seat and it's not going to take up uh, other person's space in the front and at the side. And big huge hats are really fun and nice but you cannot lean back on them. The rim will hit the back of the chair. If you want to bring one, you can bring one from your return trip. But remember that tip. I use now these foldable sun hats that are really great. Not for the airplane, but just a tip that that could be in your bag if you are landing in a sunny area. And then you can just take it out or a baseball cap. Leggings are suitable now. Um, I see so many ladies wearing them and stretchable jeans. They're comfortable. Make sure that they're breathable, that they're not they're heavy sports ones because you will get very hot and that your bra and underwear are super comfortable. Nothing's pinching in. You can choose from a sports bra to something that is cotton. Cotton is very breathable, so remember that when you're going to hot destinations for your t-shirts, for your shirts. Remember, you'll have to take a belt off, so you can either opt out for that or just put it in your carry-on luggage if you want to wear a belt when you arrive. I would avoid t-shirts that have really bad logos on them. Like, I smoke weed, down with so-and-so in the politician's name, ripped, dirty, or old things. No, you need to look a presentable. Not to wear really short shorts and really short skirts. As a matter of fact, I have seen on airplanes where girls will come in with these types of outfits on and they'll tell them to cover up. Plus, if the seat is pleather, you're going to stick to it. And also, not to wear perfume. It is very intrusive and also never put your nail polish on or file your nails while you're on the airplane for obvious reasons. The fumes are very toxic. Remember on an airplane, the air is having to circulate. And if you're traveling with your kids, this would apply to them to make sure that they're comfortable and that they can remove their clothing if they get too hot or stain. And I guess my last one would be jumpsuits or one-piece outfits. It will make it very difficult if you have to go to the washroom, although they're super comfortable. You're going to be cold, so I always take my own travel blanket. I don't like to use the ones on the airplane unless they are sealed, but I don't get one on a bus. So I have a nice little foldable one and also with my hoodie jacket, I can tie it around my waist. In closing, vacation should always be fun, a great experience. Until next time, love, light and peace. Alicia Rose.